About 66 million years ago, the iconic and fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex roamed the Earth. Although scientists have been able to study only a small number of fossil skeletons of this dinosaur, they know that it was one of the largest carnivores to ever exist. Recently, two researchers used computer modeling to reveal that the largest known T. rex may have been 70% heavier and 25% longer than the biggest T. rex skeleton found to date. Their study was published last week in the journal Asterisk Ecology and Evolution Asterisk. The study suggests that for large fossil animals like T. rex, we don't really have an idea from the fossil record of the absolute sizes they may have reached, says Jordan Mallon, a paleobiologist at the Canadian Museum of Nature and co-author of the study, in a statement. This is because very few T. rex skeletons are known. Only about 30 have ever been found. Therefore, it is statistically unlikely that these specimens represent the largest individuals of the species. However, some isolated bones and fragments certainly suggest individuals even larger than those whose skeletons we currently possess, adds David Hone, a paleontologist at Queen Mary University of London and co-author of the study. To estimate the maximum size a T. rex could have reached, Mallon and Hone used computer modeling. They considered factors such as the species' growth rate, life expectancy, population size, body size variation, and the incompleteness of the fossil record. Although most of these aspects are well understood for T. rex, the team had to extrapolate the variation in body size. They used two different methods, one that considered the potential for sexual dimorphism, meaning a difference in size or appearance between males and females, and another that assumed sex did not affect the size of T. rex. To build the dimorphic model, the team relied on size differences in alligators, modern relatives of T. rex. If T. rex was dimorphic, we estimated it could weigh up to 53,000 pounds, 24,000 kilograms. But we ruled out this model because if it were true, we would have already found even larger individuals, Mallon told Jennifer Nalawicki of Live Science. The enormous sizes reached by many dinosaurs are a source of endless fascination. How did these animals evolve to become so large? There are ongoing claims and counterclaims about which dinosaur species was the largest in its group, or even the largest of all time. However, most dinosaur species are known from only one or a few specimens, making it extremely unlikely that these fossils represent the largest individuals that ever existed. The question remains, how big were the largest individuals and are we likely to find them? Mallon and Hone used computer modeling to simulate a population of Tyrannosaurus rex. They considered variables such as population size, growth rate, life expectancy, preservation biases in the fossil record, and more. The variance in adult body size, still poorly understood in T. rex, was modeled with and without sexual differences, based on living alligators. Tyrannosaurus rex was chosen as a model because it is a well-studied dinosaur, with much of this information already known or well estimated. Paleontologists have found that the largest existing T. rex fossils are likely in the 99th percentile, that is the top 1% in terms of body size. However, to find an animal in the top 99.99%, one individual in 10,000, we would need to excavate fossils at the current rate for another thousand years. The largest individual ever observed, one in two billion five hundred million animals, could have been 70% more massive than the largest currently known T. rex specimens, an estimate of 15 metric tons versus 8.8 .8 metric tons, and 25% longer, 15 meters versus 12 meters. These values are estimates based on the model, but discovery patterns of giants among modern species suggest there might have been even larger dinosaurs that we haven't yet found. Some isolated bones and fragments certainly indicate specimens even larger than the skeletons we currently have. This significantly impacts debates about the largest fossil animals. Many of the largest dinosaurs across various groups are known from a single good specimen, making it impossible to determine if that animal was a large or small example of the species. An apparently large species may be known from a giant individual, while a seemingly smaller species may be known from only a small animal with typical or maximum sizes possibly being very different. The chances of finding the largest individuals that ever existed are incredibly slim. Therefore, despite the giant skeletons on display in museums around the world, 
the largest individuals were even larger. Dr. Mallon said, Our study suggests that for large fossil animals like T. rex, we really have no idea from the fossil record about the absolute sizes they may have achieved. It's fun to think about a 15 metric ton T. rex, but the implications are also interesting from a biomechanical or ecological perspective. Dr. Hone stated, It's important to emphasize that this is not just about T. rex, which was the basis of our study, but this issue applies to all dinosaurs and many other fossil species. Discussing which is the largest, based on a handful of skeletons, is really not very meaningful. Thomas Carr, a vertebrate paleontologist from Carthage College who was not involved in the new research, told Live Science, It reminds us that our knowledge about dinosaurs is limited, as the samples are very small. Imagining a T-Rex of that magnitude is extraordinary, and I believe that such a large animal is statistically within our reach. Scotty and other large T-Rex fossils likely belong to individuals that were at the top 1% of the largest specimens in the population. The team estimates that finding fossils in the top 0.01% would take another thousand years of work, assuming excavations continue at the current pace. It's important to emphasize that this is not just about T. rex, which was the basis of our study, but this issue applies to all dinosaurs and many other fossil species, Hone says in the statement. Discussing which is the largest, based on a handful of skeletons, is really not very meaningful. Ultimately, paleontologists emphasize that their results are simply a thought experiment with some numbers behind it for now, Malin tells Live Science. Until paleontologists find physical evidence of such gigantic creatures, all they can do is speculate. The impressive sizes achieved by dinosaurs have been a continuous source of fascination and scientific study. However, it is important to highlight that the fossils we have today represent only a tiny fraction of the individuals that existed within each dinosaur species. Most individuals were of medium or small size, with some reaching large sizes but giant specimens are exceptionally rare. This raises a crucial question. How large could these animals, like Tyrannosaurus rex, have truly been compared to the fossils we have? To address this question, researchers Malin and Hone used computer modeling to estimate the possible maximum sizes of T. rex. Their estimates suggest that the largest individuals could be significantly larger than the largest specimens currently known. This is not limited to T. rex, but applies to all dinosaurs and many other fossil species. The discovery of isolated bones and fragments suggesting larger specimens reinforces the idea that the complete skeletons we have may not represent the true size limits of these creatures. Debates about which dinosaur was the largest in its group are complicated by the scarcity of fossils. Most dinosaur species are known from only one or a few specimens making it extremely unlikely that these fossils represent the largest individuals that ever existed. The discovery of a giant specimen of a species could completely change our understanding of its maximum size. A clear example is Tyrannosaurus rex, where estimates suggest that the largest individual could have been 70% more massive than the largest known specimens today, with a 25% difference in length. When considering large animals like T. rex and other similarly sized theropods, a difference of one meter in length does not make a significant difference in terms of visual or biological impact. However, these differences are significant from a scientific perspective, as they suggest that we are only scratching the surface of our understanding of the real size of these prehistoric giants. Nature has a vast range of variability, and the largest individuals are rarely found both in modern species and fossils. This variability is present throughout nature. In modern animal populations, exceptionally large individuals are rare but do exist. This suggests that dinosaurs also had individuals much larger than those represented in the fossils we have discovered so far. Therefore, the idea that the largest dinosaurs could have been significantly larger than the specimens we have is not only plausible but also likely, given the patterns of discovery and natural variability. In conclusion, the fossils we have represent only a small sample of what existed. Most individuals were of medium or small size, with some reaching large sizes and giants being extremely rare. The potential maximum sizes of dinosaurs like T. rex and others are likely to be significantly larger than the known specimens, 
not just by a meter, but possibly much more. This reinforces the need to continue exploring and discovering more fossils to deepen our understanding of these incredible prehistoric giants and their true dimensions. The search for fossils remains essential to expanding our knowledge of these prehistoric giants. However, until more evidence is discovered, we can only speculate about the true dimensions that these animals might have reached. This research not only challenges our current perceptions of dinosaur size, but also reminds us of the complexity and grandeur of life in the distant past. Thus, paleontology remains an evolving science, with each new discovery potentially redefining our understanding of the largest beings to ever walk the Earth.